so you guys describe to me what you guys understand by reproduction first yes means that uh, uh, reproducing the same kind uh, same of our kind uh, same of our species mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes that is correct reproduction is the process of giving birth to same type of species right so the monkeys uh, giving birth to new offsprings or apes or um, or elephants or different types of animals including we humans in the process of reproduction what basically happens we give rise to new animals of same kind right so reproduction how do we define it so it is defined as giving birth we defined as it is the process of giving rise to new offsprings offsprings of same kind right offspring here basically refers to the baby all right guys that basically refers to yes, baby baby okay and why is it essential the question is that like it is not an essential process essential step required for humans to stay alive like uh, what are the essential steps uh, essential processes required for survival of human it is what nutrition digestion assimilation absorption and excretion so like essential processes for survival of an individual what are they the nutrition excretion absorption okay in a sequence it's nutrition then digestion right then it's absorption okay then assimilation right and finally it's excretion so in this step does uh, reproduction count in this steps no not necessary that is not necessary for survival of an individual but for survival of the species survival of a species we will require reproduction in between the same species right so reproduction is essential for the continuation of a species right right guys although an individual animal or a plant can survive uh, or a, although an individual animal can survive why do by performing all these processes nutrition digestion absorption assimilation excretion while the whole group of that uh, individual the group of that species for their continuation for their group reproduction has to be uh, necessary it has to be necessary like their number needs to be multiplied so that they will not become extinct in near future right guys so it is necessary for continuation continuation of a species all right guys so that is why the reproduction is required okay so the reproduction can occur in plants and it can occur in animals as well so in both of them there are different ways right so in our nature reproduction occurs in two methods okay so in one of the method a partner is required two individuals are required for reproduction to happen while some animals some plants 
can reproduce by themselves they do not require a partner right so we say that modes of reproduction are two in nature modes yes, of reproduction are two in nature one in which two partners are required and one in which only one partner is required like only one individual is required so one we have uh, categorized as sexual reproduction okay so in sexual reproduction two partners are required one has to be male one has to be female right and then they mate together and a new uh, baby is born then another method of reproduction in nature is asexual asexual reproduction okay in which two um, two partners are not necessarily required okay so only one partner or one individual is required all right guys so let's uh, let's study about them let's study about the uh, sexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction okay see in this figure okay see this figure here if i were to zoom it this is actually a hydra this is actually a hydra hydra is what hydra is an animal don't confuse it with a plant it is not a plant all right guys Is a yeah. No, it can be seen. Okay, like its size is very small, but although it can be spotted. Okay, it's usually they occur in oh. clusters, and it can be spotted. So this actually here is a parent hydra. Okay, so what happened uh, in to this parent hydra after a while, you see. notice this bulging portion here notice this bulge here okay there's an outgrowth from this part here right normally the hydra looks like this when no uh, bud is growing out of it it will look like this so is there any outgrowth from here no no outgrowth in this bud uh, in this hydra so when uh, the hydra is about to reproduce what it does it starts to grow a uh, it starts to grow a bud from here this is an outgrowth na no? right an extra growth later on this bud will start to develop it will start to grow it will keep on growing until it reaches a sufficient uh, uh, until it reaches a, a big size and then finally it will detach from the parent hydra okay and then this hydra will grow as a new hydra this bud uh, which initially uh, uh, was growing from the parent hydra it kept on growing and then it got detached from the parent hydra and then it will grow as a completely separate hydra right guys Hey, so that is uh, yes sir han uh, is the parent hydra uh, a female or a male look there's no gender of the parent here okay gender is specified in that case now where uh, the reproduction is taking in place between the male and female okay so it has same type of chromosome right got it okay sir okay one more thing look one more thing uh, uh you guys need to notice here see in the case of sexual reproduction what happens characters from the parents transfer to their offspring right characters from the parents transfer to their offspring now right like yes. look at yourself and look at your parents you have derived some of the characteristics from your parents right like your uh, someone's hair might be curly 
so he might have derived as a curly characteristic of hair from either from his mother or either from his father okay so in sexual reproduction the offspring springs derive characteristics from parents one more thing they will look different from their parents right sir can we call them genes yeah exactly different from parents so what happens the mm -hmm. genes that is coming from the male and from the female they intermix in the process of sexual reproduction the genes the male gene and the female gene they are intermixing here while in the case of reproduction there is no intermixing of gene no intermixing of genes take place here hence the individual that is uh, uh, that is coming out via the process of asexual reproduction they are identical to their parents identical in what in appearance to their parents all right guys so hence okay. in this in this hydra there is no uh, no intermixing of genes and this new hydra that has detached from its parent it will look exactly identical to its parent right yes sir so asexual reproduction it uh, you what you guys have to study as per the syllabus so all sexual reproduction in plants can occur through budding okay and what else uh, can you guys see me or not sir pollination pollination that is a different thing there that is uh, in fact that is a uh, 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 sexual reproduction not all sexual reproduction Okay, I just got distracted from laptop. Can you guys see me or not? Am I visible? No, sir. No, sir. No. Okay, let me just see. I'm having some connection issues. Oh. Okay. Anyways, you guys can can see my screen now. Okay. Now yes, I guess sir. I'm I'm visible now. Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay. Now, apart from budding, you will see certain plants like this here, this amoeba here. So, in amoeba, you will see they reproduce by the process of fission, F I W -S, S I U N. Okay. So, for budding, you have an example of hydra. So, let's define the process of budding as well. Then we will move ahead. okay so in some aquatic animals like hydra they reproduce via budding in which in which there is a there is an outgrowth from the parent hydra and this and this outgrowth also called as bud hence the process derives its name from this bud that is budding excuse me sir yes sir an is the budding natural or does it occur naturally yes it occurs naturally there is no human intervention okay it is completely natural and this outgrowth okay. later detaches from its parent and develops into a new hydra okay 
so you guys take the screenshot of the first slide okay so it will be convenient in making notes okay take the screenshot of this one okay done sir i have taken okay i'm yes, taking okay now take the screenshot of this one also if possible draw the diagram of the this hydra as well okay sir okay now let's move on to another type of phosphoric solid production okay yeah. that is fission f i w s i u n no in fission what happens this parent amoeba what happens it starts to undergo a process of continuous division so first what happens the nucleus elongates see this nucleus here it elongates like this in the second in the second stage the nucleus has got elongated right now in the third stage there are two nucleus within this parent amoeba right guys there are two nucleus now okay and in the final stage the two will detach and there will be two daughter cells okay the parent amoeba dies sir no the parent amoeba has just uh, gotten converted into two daughter cells they are not dead here okay, okay sir they are not dead okay they are just uh, now converted into two daughter cells right okay guys so that is simply the process of uh, uh, fission in amoeba so in microscopic organisms like amoeba the process of reproduction happens by fission so in the fission you guys first need to uh, simply just write down the steps here okay no no, no need to elongate it too much so first there is parent amoeba and then in the next step what will happen what will happen nucleus elongates yes sir it mm. and then what will happen uh, sir, the, the, uh, nucleus and awesome nucleus divides right yes yes sir plus cytoplasm also starts to divide yes, cytoplasm also divides okay and in the final step the two uh, they separate into two daughter cells yes sir separate into two daughter cells right so initially you had this amoeba now the same amoeba has separated into two daughter cells okay and they are individually uh, identical to each other right they are identical to each other why because it's a asexual reproduction has there been any intermixing of genes no this amoeba had same gene and when it got converted into two daughter cells then also it had the same gene of itself right guys so that is about the process of fission take the screenshot of this one as well okay okay good now moving on let's so talk can about can you revert to the uh, no, i didn't take the screenshot okay okay take now i've done it sir okay now talking about the sexual reproduction now it is that type of reproduction in which two parents give birth to a new offspring right 
that is simply called as sexual reproduction so we define it as as it is a process in which two parents give birth to a new offspring right one condition applied here is one condition applied here is that the, both the parents have to belong to same species okay parents have to be of same species all right guys okay now one more thing the male and the female uh, parents will have different reproductive organs in it okay contrary to uh, the budding and fusion where there was only one parent and there was no involvement of reproductive organs in this you will have involvement of two different sets of reproductive organs one is male another one is female so the male and female parents have different reproductive organ all right guys okay now these organs like the male reproductive organ and the female uh, reproductive organ they will produce gametes which will fuse together to form the offspring so when we will uh, get to the uh, the detail process i will tell you what are gametes okay so the male and reproductive organs what is their role their role is to secrete gametes which consist of genes so these two gametes will intermix and later on it will form embryo and from embryo it forms uh, uh, later on it develops into several stages and then finally into a new offspring so don't worry when we will get to the detail step we will cover each of the steps in detail right so the male and female reproductive organ secretes gametes and these gametes which are separate from each other they will fuse together together to give of a spring okay which gives uh, which fuse together to form of a spring all right guys so some yes, of the examples of sexual reproduction like we human beings okay we have dogs lions etc okay take a screenshot of this one as well okay so i've taken so this reproduction which we are talking about one more characteristic about this reproduction is that it must involve cell division also right guys like the new offspring that is coming out of uh, sexual reproduction that new offspring uh, must have gone through process of cell division right if you see example of male gamete and female gamete okay in humans male gamete and the female gamete okay when they are intermixed they form embryo this embryo you cannot see it with your open eyes with your naked eyes it has to be seen via a microscope so initially it was a one cell size right any humans initially their size must have been of one cell only but in the womb of the mother it uh, it went under continuous cell division okay 
so cell division is also an important part of the sexual reproduction okay guys yeah. so we see that reproduction essentially involves process of cell division right and without cell division the process will not propagate further will not move further without cell division reproduction will not propagate propagate means move further not propagate further okay guys okay now the cell division uh, like if you see the sexual reproduction we talked about it like there are two different types of sexual reproduction or sexual and sexual reproduction so the two different types of sexual reproduction will also have different types of cell division in them what did i said the two reproduction reduction will have two different types of cell division so let's study them one of the cell division is what mitosis it's a mitosis division fission is also a type of cell division good but we are talking about the broad category the fission will come under these broad categories right so one will be process of mitosis another one will be meiosis okay and what are all these methods meant to like cell division is meant for what it is meant for growth of cells right it will help in regeneration of cells it will uh, like in the process of growth of an organism if some tissues are damaged so those tissues regrow why because of cell division right guys so functions you also need to know about its functions of cell division yeah yes guys what are the functions which i just told you hmm. yes sir what are the functions of cell division so it is um hmm. cell division for growth now Yes. Yeah. For growth, for regeneration, regeneration mm -hmm. of damaged tissues, mm -hmm. right? Repair. Okay. And what else? In fact, the gamete that is produced in the male and female, they are also due to cell division. Okay, take the screenshot of this slide. Okay, I hope no confusion so far. Any confusion to you guys so far? No sir. Okay. No sir. Okay, let's move ahead then. Done. Yes sir. All right. Now, as I said, there are two types of cell division. One of them is mitosis, another one is meiosis. Okay. now let's talk about the first one that is mitosis okay so from the diagram see here what is happening here this one cell here has got converted into two cells right yes sir cell a and cell b here so mitosis is a process where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells 
so remember the example of amoeba you can compare both of them amoeba also goes through the same process here so remember it first you had the uh, parent amoeba okay then the nucleus was dividing here see this one okay if you ask me what are these structures here what are these structures here any idea guys hmm sir cell these are cells i'm talking about the structures inside them see these structures this pink no, and sir. blue okay so these are actually called as you know chromosomes this one and this one they are called as chromosomes so let me a uh, background of it then you will understand it more clearly if you take a look at a typical animal cell in the center of it you will find what nucleus right yes, this sir. is this is its cell membrane the outer boundary okay this is its nucleus and the jelly like structure in between the nucleus and the cell membrane is called cytoplasm okay now when you guys will see this nucleus under a microscope take out this nucleus and see it under a microscope under it you will see there are so many thread like structures there are so many thread like structures these thread like structures are called as what these are actually called as chromosomes okay so these chromosomes contain actually the genetic material contain genetic material or uh, it's better to say that they consist of genes they contain what genes g e n e all right guys so what we discuss here that the nucleus consists of thread like structures which are uh, thread like structures which are called chromosomes and inside that chromosomes it consists of genes okay these are thread like the structure amit and arhan are you guys getting confused or is it okay that it is kind of confusing okay look here this uh, pink and blue one only chromosome has been shown here okay the nucleus is not being shown in the figure okay why because it is actually the separation in the in the nucleus actually the chromosomes start to separate first that's why they have directly shown chromosome here so the chromosome the question was what is chromosome actually so chromosomes are nothing it is found inside the nucleus of every animal cell all right guys and as arhan said earlier about gene so gene are what like uh the... someone's hair is curly or someone's uh, teeth look in a certain way or someone yeah. is taller or someone is shorter or their skin texture is different all of these information is found in the gene in this gene here yes sir it is found in the Excuse gene sir. yes sir han what is the difference between dna and gene what is the uh, difference between dna and gene okay good question okay so if you were to take sections out of gene uh, out of dna if you were to take sections out of dna let's say this is your dna here this is the molecular structure of a dna if you were to take sections out of it that will be called as gene right so there are okay. different sets of genes present on a dna right guys Okay. So, sir, the DNA is the container of genes. Exactly, we can say that like that. Okay. So, in chromosomes, we have DNA, and in DNA, in uh, you have got gene. Okay. So, 
Ahmed and Nirhan just know this thing here that uh, in the process of mitosis, a single parent divides into two daughter cell. So it goes through four steps here. In the second step, what happens? The chromosomes start to divide. In the third step, also the chromosome is dividing. The cytoplasm also has started to divide. See here. In the nucleus, chromosomes has started to divide here. Right? In the next, in the step number three, see, the size of the cell has also elongated. It means that the cytoplasm is also dividing. Yeah. And in the fourth stage, there are two nucleuses here. See this one and this one. And finally, in the fifth stage, in the final stage, both of them, both of them have separated. Now, if you guys were not to compare it with the division of amoeba, it will be easier now. See this amoeba. I hope you guys can relate it with now. Here, the nucleus is separating. Okay. But to be more specific, inside the nucleus, we know it's chromosome. So we can also say that the chromosomes are separating. Right, Emma, then mm -hmm. Okay. And then here, you see the okay. cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is separating in this one now. Division of nucleus and cytoplasm. And then finally, the two parts have separated into two daughter cells. The same thing went here in this in this one as well, right? In fact, the example of amoeba uh, is an uh, is an example of mitosis. Okay, so mitosis is a process where a uh, single parent divides into two identical daughter cells. So one characteristic is that we have got one cell and it will get divided into two cells. Right. So sir, this cell division is asexual Exactly. This okay. is a, this mitosis, we will say that it will occur in what? It is going to occur in a sexual mode of repro reproduction. All okay. right. Okay. So the first one, if you see what was happening, uh, if we, I wait to repeat the steps here in the first one, also, you guys first tell me before I continue further. You guys tell me, is there was there any intermixing of genes here? No, sir. Okay, Ahmed, explain why there was no intermixing of genes. Um. Yes. Arhan. And there is no intermixing of genes since uh, this is a mitosis and it is in an asexual uh, cell division. So the genes are from the parent. Yes. And not any other partner. Exactly. There's only one single partner here. Okay. So the gene of the single parent got divided into two here. Okay. Basically what is happening here now? Like this single parent and if you see the daughter cells here, these two daughter cells here. And if you were to compare their DNA, you will see that the DNA of the daughter cells is exact replica of its parent. Okay guys. Replica means many. Uh, it is similar to it, same to it. 100% same to it. Okay. So in this stage, you will see that the DNA of the daughter cell is exact replica of its parent cell. Right. So yes, sir. there is no 
intermixing of genes why because there is only one parent in this one okay and dna replication happens in this one happens in this type of cell division all right guys okay so take a screenshot yes, of this one and then we will move ahead okay sir sir i have taken good ahmed <clears throat> okay you guys are also required to draw the diagrams while okay, taking sir, notes okay sir okay sir okay now moving on we have next step of uh, cell division which is called meiosis okay now see you guys tell me what is happening here this is the parent so interchange of genes since there are two partners there are two partners two parents yes. sorry two parents while but you see here oh, first we are we are only concerned with the single cell log all right we will come to that later but if you were to talk about division of cells cell division starts from a single cell only right see here there is only one parent here while the daughter cells are how many 1 2 3 and 4 right there are four daughter cells here so what do we say in this one that this is a cell division in which a single cell divides into four daughter cells yes sir this is a cell division in which a single cell divides into four daughter cells all right okay now in the first one in the first stage what happens dna replication takes place in the first stage of the cell division the dna replication occurs okay notice the dna in the first stage and notice the dna in the second stage the dna's have replicated okay if you look closely the chromosomes they have rearranged and they and the dna has replicated in this stage right and then later on the cell will go through two divisions right this is the first division in which the single cell got divided into two right count there's one and there's two cell right guys okay and then in the third step it goes through one more division that is the second division in which there are four cells and this one it was it got divided into four cells now what do you guys observe uh, can you guys observe here that the uh, chromosomes here their numbers are decreasing here notice this thing here yes see the parent yes sir it has how many codes uh, how many uh, chromosomes sir, there were four. four chromosomes in this one and notice the daughter cells sir four daughter cells there are four daughter cells and each of them has got only two chromosomes yeah they yes, have got sir. only yes, two sir. chromosomes here okay so we can also say that this is a cell division that this meiosis is a cell division in which uh, in which a single cell divides into four daughter cells which are 
haploid which are haploid right guys which are haploid cells so haploid means having only two uh, two chromosomes what this haploid means cells which have only two chromosomes right guys so the yes, one sir. more thing we notice here that the number of chromosomes in the process of meiosis is halved the number of chromosomes in meiosis is half okay and uh, dna replication occurs dna replication occurs and it is followed by two continuous cell division like see here in the second stage what was happening the dna was replicating okay and then in yes. the stage 2 and 3 there were two continuous cell divisions first it got divided into two uh, daughter cells and then into four daughter cells so dna replication is followed by two cell divisions hope that is clear to you guys okay yes okay so the daughter cells will have only half the number of chromosomes uh, in compare comparison to the parent cell right and this parent cell either might be coming from the male or from the female right guys and uh, uh, this cell division if you were to ask of which one we are talking about we are actually talking about the gametes here okay so so what is gamete gametes are basically the male and female uh, uh, sex hormones okay so that we will continue in next class so this meiosis takes place in sex organ of humans and animals and what are gametes gametes are called sex simply hormones. sex cells they are simply called as okay because they combine together to form uh, embryo and later on of spring develops from it so if you see example of sperm and ovum these are actually gametes okay arhan and ahmed yes sir okay 